Hi guys, it's Mimi here and welcome to Geek Lifeful. So today's video is not the usual Saturday tutorial. There will be a tutorial next Saturday since every two weeks I try to make something different. So instead today it's going to be a little less official than a usual tutorial. It's just going to be a video where I'm crafting something and then commenting. It's not going to be a typical voiceover with all the instructions. It's kind of like a watch me craft or a craft with me video. So for today's video, I just had this idea of making a big nacho chip with the cheese melted on top and maybe some olives and a little kawaii mustache face. I just thought it would be so quirky and original. This is exactly the kind of accessories that I like to wear because I love the idea of having a little touch of weird and different in my accessories. So I'll try to share parts of the process with you guys and I hope you enjoy this video. So have fun and here we go. So to start, I already prepared two different sheets of olive greens because I want to make some sliced olives on the top of my nacho. So I have a paler green right here and a shade a bit darker here. So I'm going to mix both with a bit of translucent. The translucent really gives the realistic appearance to food because most foods aren't opaque. They pretty much all have a bit of translucency. So this is why you want to put some translucent in your clay when you're doing food items. I'm going to make some translucent into the outer color. So I'm just making a thick log of this paler green. So I'm just going to roll a piece of this darker green and stick it around my log. So with this log you want to roll it a lot more to make a smaller snake the size of the olive slices you want. I'm just going to be adding a bit more pastels around it to add more detail. Now I'm going to put it in the freezer. So for the nachos I'm mixing a bit of orange, pale yellow, translucent for my base color. Since my clay is really sticky I'm going to add some baby powder right here. I'm also putting these popsicle sticks right inside because I want it to be very even. So there is a bit of lint on my sheet but it's okay because we're mostly going to cover the chip with some cheese. I'm making a little ball so I can put them in my chips like this. And I'm going to blend them in the chip so it makes some little bumps everywhere. Since my nachos are baked, I'm going to add a bit of brown pastels on the edges to make it look crisp and fresh out of the oven. So now what's really missing is the little black dots on the chip, but I'm going to add those once it is baked. So now all my nacho chips are ready to be baked for 5 minutes. So now I'm going to add some little spots of brown paint on my chip. And before the paint dries, I'm just going to brush it a bit so it's smoother and it blends better in the chip. So for the hole in the olive, I'm using the inside of this pen. What I want is this little hole right here. So to make the olives, I'm just making sure my piece is round. But I'm making a hole in it with this pencil tip. Now I'm going to bake my olives for 5 minutes. And now for the super fun part, I'm going to spread some cheese on my chip. I'm using my dotting tool to spread it, this way I have a lot more control on the cheese. And now it's time to add the little olives. I'm sticking them on top, so this way I'm going to have some space for my kawaii mustache base on the bottom. And so I'm going to put it in my baking pan with some parchment paper on the bottom. And now they are ready to be baked for 30 minutes. Now that my nachos are baked, it's time to paint the little kawaii mustache base. So I'm going to start by making the eyes. 
And for the mustache, I'm going to use a technique that I learned from Cute Polish. So I'm going to make two dots in the middle and two small dots on the sides. And then I'm simply going to connect the dots and fill in the blanks. And I'm going to let it dry before putting the white dots in the eyes. So I'm making the big white dot with this dotting tool and the small dot with my needle tool. Now finally, it's time for a layer of clay. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, it's very different from my usual tutorials, but feel free to ask me your questions in the comment section. I will gladly answer. I love talking to you guys. So have a beautiful day and God bless you. Bye!